Now, I've long since said that there are two things in life we just can't skimp on. Peanut butter and toilet paper. Well, if you paint, I found a third. Masking tape. And this lesson, in, uh, this lesson in airbrush doesn't really involve the airbrush as much as it involves air, the prep work that surrounds it. Now, previously I made a video covering the basics of freehand stencils, which are a form of masking. This video, however, is going to be geared more towards the traditional style of masking. Now, the rules for masking are the same whether you're spray painting, airbrushing, or rolling paint on the walls. A crisp line makes a crisp line. Let that sink in. Now, here's what I mean. This right here is regular masking tape. Let's look at it closer. Closer and closer. Now, check out that texture. That's going to show up in our artwork. This is crepe tape. Now, how many times you peeled the tape off your project only to see a jagged line instead of a clean line? That's why. A better tape to use is something like this. Notice how much smoother it is? Now, we could take our thumbnail and try to smooth out the edges on a crepe tape, but why bother? Why not just start with a product that's designed for our application? This is vinyl masking tape. It's smooth and it seems to give a bit more when doing the curves. This stuff is, is more expensive than a crepe tape, but the results are worth it. Now, if you gotta have clean, sharp edges, you gotta have vinyl tape. Well, here's some examples. Well, step one, let's trace out the design that you want to mask off with the vinyl tape. Uh, trim the edges where necessary, where the two parts overlap. And then we're gonna take the, uh, the crepe tape or the generic masking tape and pull it past the point where you want it to stop. I always cut it with a knife because it's uh, less likely to pull off, especially when you're using a smaller, uh, smaller stuff. And just keep building the area up uh, until you've covered everything that you wanna cover. Now we go back and we're gonna trim off all the excess. Now we're cutting on top of the other tape so that we don't cut into our work. Well, the process for curves is uh, pretty much the same. Uh, draw your design on there, that uh, something that you're happy with. We'll trim the tip. start filling it in. Inside radius is a little easy. Uh, use the technique that I got over here. Uh, if you want to do a outside radius, uh, you best to try to go in straight lines until you get to an inside radius and then you can use the previous technique. This here is six inch transfer tape. Uh, you can get this at any vinyl supply shop or uh, if you know a vinyl guy in the area, uh, he might be able to hook you up with a little bit of it. If you don't uh, or you can't find transfer tape, you could always build it up with whatever masking tape you happen to have on hand. Trace out uh, the parts that you don't want. Be a little careful around the edges. Trim the tip. And uh, let's go ahead and mash down those uh, air pockets. Pull the corner over and there you go. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And don't forget to check out my other airbrushing videos. Later. Let that sink in. Now here's what I mean. It's on this side. Uh, fuck. Let's start over.